So today we're going to look at a new, uh, well, not a new pen, a vintage pen. And I had this for a while and we haven't looked at it yet. And it's the Centra Pen 10016. It's a cool pen. Now, do you know what Centra Pen is? Is it's st The company still exists. I don't actually know. Well, Centra Pen uh, has, it, it still exists, but they don't make fountain pens anymore. They make markers and different types of... Uh, uh, craft pens and you know kids pens things like that yeah for a drawing and paint and i think they might make ball points and things but what centra pen is is or was that's kind of disappointing because yeah. at least looking at the pen it looks very nice it's a very nice pen and this i'm not too sure the exact year but centra pen is from the country czechoslovakia and czechoslovakia no longer exists right yeah there it's now the slovak republic and the czech republic i believe right. they broke up but at one point uh, there used to be all kinds of little pen manufacturers in Czechoslovakia. Yeah. And after World War II, when the communists took over, they nationalized all the pen companies and they brought them under one umbrella called Centra, Centra Pen, Central Pen, Centra Pen, right? So, anyway. That's interesting. Yeah. So, um, we have this nice pen mm -hmm. uh, from an interesting history. Mm -hmm. It's inked up with this pilot um, suzuki there should be a Sus video <laughs> of reviewing that coming up around Sukushi, hmm, right? a, this time frame we just recorded yeah. that video um mm -hmm. so it should be coming up around the same time as this yeah. one oh, yeah. yeah so anyway i like to match my inks yeah. so i put this beautiful brown ink in it so that's what it's and... inked up with if you want yeah. to know so anyway centra pen actually made student pens they made a lot of really nice pens and, and that one's really this is an interesting pen. Uh, they made children's pens, and they made just business pens, and they also made uh, pens for export, and I forget what company they uh, called themselves when they exported. But they had pens like this. And if you look at this pen, for it's really... What, the, the thing that caught my eye about this is the chatoyance in the material. It's a resin pen, but if you look at it, it's brown, but there's beautiful color in this pen and you roll it around and the light reflects through the, the material and bounces around and it's a it's just a gorgeous like it looks visually it, yeah. amazing when you roll it you can see all these really sort of beautiful it gem like has, qualities in the, in the it material it has a lot of yeah. um almost tiger eye like tiger eye chatoyance um, yeah appearance mm -hmm. that i find you um, don't really find on modern pens. No, and not too often. From older you do pens, find you them. can find them on like super expensive ones. Yes, but, but it's mm -hmm. super hard to find a nice, affordable, good-looking pen um, that's recently made mm -hmm. um, with this kind of patterning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's very nice, though. It's very it's, yeah. it, it's a very appealing yeah. looking pen. Now, pattern. it's not a big pen, but it's. You know, I um, it's a nice size pen. I, I forgot to have a pen nearby, but it's got a fairly well made. Do you want me to grab no, a pen? no, it's okay. okay. So it has a, a a sturdy clip, and it's gold plated, or you know, it, uh, it's some kind of plating on it, and a rather probably nice. Probably electro plated or something. Yeah, electro plated. Probably just maybe a gold filled. But anyway, there's it looks a. It's nice. <laughs> it, and it's in actually very good shape. Now the nib is a steel nib and it was at one time plated and the plating is coming off and i would say this is probably a fine nib you can see but it's still in good it's shape very flexy. yeah now it's a screw flexy. cap of course um and when you undo it it's, it's a fairly wet pen as well yeah i will say it has a permanently sealed converter so this is quite common of that era from communist pens where they have a uh, you know, some kind of a filling system. And they have quite a few different ones. They have like syringe type fillers, and this is a, uh, a piston filler. That's my favorite kind. You like piston fillers? Yeah. Piston and fillers. Uh, they have even like an accordion fillers and stuff like that. Mm. But it's, uh, you know, permanently sealed in, so it doesn't come out. So, anyway, the um, so it screws on. It's not a heavy pen, it posts very well. And it makes a nice size pen, right? It's very nice. Yeah. And yeah. what I love about this pen, of course, is you're looking. It's one of those pens when you're writing, you can sort of get, get kind of distracted by the colors. And it almost, even though it's brown, there's certain reddish and gold colors in the pen. It, it's very nuanced. <laughs> very nuanced. To some. Well, 
and it's it, pretentious but yeah. oh it's pretentious come on <laughs> you don't have to make fun of me i'm not making fun of you <laughs> are you sure <laughs> so anyway the but it, it's a pen with a lot of stuff yeah so the quick brown fox, fox. jumps over jumps over the lazy, the lazy dog dog and here's the lazy cat showing up she's yeah. off she's off camera i find it to be a very smooth writer um you had used this earlier and you said there was a lot of line variation i i'd say it's mm -hmm. fairly flexy honestly it's a uh, fairly wet it is it has a nice flow to it yeah it, it's a wet ink and it's a wet pen mm -hmm. yeah a bit of railroading right there it's down quite a bit that's probably my fault but yeah it does put down a nice line of ink and it um it's a very smooth writer, mm -hmm. and overall, it doesn't really break up. Yeah. It has nice flow. It can keep up. It has a really interesting looking feed, actually. I quite like the look of the feed. I'm not too sure if that's a plastic feed or an ebonite feed. I can't really... It almost looks like ebonite, but it might be a plastic feed. But anyway, Centro Pen, they, they're still in existence. They, uh, they made really lovely pens, mm. and you can still find them around. Sent the ones. This is the Centro Pen one zero zero one six, and I've seen this in a few different colors. I, I, I believe it came in a blue color. I saw one online somewhere. You can still pick them up fairly inexpensively. Some of them go a little higher prices. Um, all in all, a well-made pen from an interesting company, from a interesting country which is now two yeah. countries it has Europe. a lot of interesting history which is super fun when mm -hmm. you get a pen and you're like looking at its making history and you find a bunch of cool stuff that's yeah. a really fun experience so as we always um, ask questions interesting do you... yeah. if you know anything else about the pen we'd love to know do you have a centra pen do you like the brand have you yes. tried them what ones do you have if there is there one from centra pen that you think we should look at someday if we could ever find one and just anything you want to talk to us about or say we mm -hmm. love to hear yeah. and we will respond to the comments yeah. do you have yeah communist era pens from other iron curtain countries very interesting you know romania had uh flaro there was uh russian made communist era pens there's a really interesting history bulgaria had some pens i believe anyway so anyway if you have any comments if uh you know how, yeah. have you tried We'd central love pen? to hear if you enjoyed the video um mm -hmm. leave a like um, uh, and consider subscribing to our channel. Mm -hmm. It would be greatly appreciated. Because we're always making fun videos. Yeah, and we're trying to get to 2,000 where we'll give the cats lasers. Yes. Weapons grade lasers for cats. Yes. No. Um, we're going to get the cats playing with toy lasers. <laughs> yeah. <We're, laughs> they had, anyway. <laughs> I think every milestone we're just going to do cat videos. Cat videos. Yeah. That's the treat. Fountain pen cat videos. Anyway. Yes. And as you can see... Well, if we twist this back a bit, you'll see the cat sitting in the window, as always. Scout! Hello! Okay. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. I hope you had a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye! Yeah.